Next, the nature of oneness is revealed. Awareness, oneness, is the ground of all phenomena. Although there is the appearance of multiplicity, to say that there is no wavering from oneness is to say that naturally occurring timeless awareness is a single source. Although fire and water manifest separately from a single gem under specific circumstances, their source, the pure gem, is the same. Similarly, Although both samsara and nirvana arise from oneness, self-knowing awareness, their source, ultimate awakened mind, is the same. There is simply the illusion of difference based on whether or not awareness is recognized. All things that appear in light of awareness, the world of appearances and possibilities, whether of samsara or nirvana, even as they manifest, are one in emptiness, their very essence. Like dream images, illusions, or the moon's reflection on water. Like awareness in the four visions, and like surrounding space that has no substance, they are one in being timelessly and totally empty, free of elaboration. Since everything is of one basic space, primordially pure, there is no abiding as two, for all is encompassed within the single sphere. Dharmakaya is without edges or corners. 
how marvelous. Although the five elements manifest, they are the realm of awakened mind. Never born, they do not waver from the single state of equalness. Although manifesting in conditioned existence, the six kinds of beings are forms of emptiness. The ground of being as it manifests does not waver from the scope of awareness. Although happiness and suffering manifest, they are within the heart essence of enlightenment, not wavering from a single, naturally occurring, timeless awareness. Therefore, phenomena are of one basic space, the realm of emptiness. You should know them to be unborn, awakened mind. The unique enlightened intent of victorious ones of the three times dwells within this ultimate basic space, the vast expanse of self-knowing awareness. It cannot be thought of as multiple, for it is free of fragmenting elaborations. Truly, it is the palace of the unwavering heart essence of enlightenment, where nothing but naturally occurring, timeless awareness dwells. The precious treasury of phenomena is a gem that fulfills all wishes. This is truly the pure realm of victorious ones, the three spontaneously present Kayas. The unique vast expanse is not created by anyone. All things that emerge from it all possible phenomena without exception are one within the fundamental ground from which they emerge, since causality is negated.
suchness itself, empty yet lucid, is a supremely spacious nature of phenomena, evident as pure space, without extremes or biases. Although the single naturally occurring state creates all samsara and nirvana, without anyone creating awareness, which is the source, it abides like space beyond deliberate effort. With this metaphor and its underlying meaning in harmony, all value judgments concerning diverse phenomena are pacified within the vast expanse of a single basic space. Within the ultimate heart essence, which transcends existence and non-existence, all phenomena are unceasing, and regardless of the display that arises, their very essence is the unimaginable and inexpressible expanse. This is truly beyond all conventional expression and description. From the standpoint of enlightenment, the heart essence from which everything arises, there is no duality and any attempt to quantify things would be endless. Buddhas, ordinary beings, and the universe of appearances and possibilities are evident yet do not waver from the single nature of phenomena just as it is. Everything is connected in oneness, the perfection of phenomena. This is the supreme quality of awakened mind. When anything manifests, 
cut through all conventional exaggeration. phenomena are to be known as the inherent radiance of the nature of mind, empty and non-dual, while inner phenomena are nothing other than awareness as such. of phenomena, non-existent as one or many, the realization of a single basic space is revealed to be the key point of awareness. One implication that can be discerned is that all phenomena are of one taste. All apparent objects are unreal appearances, the realm of emptiness. Regardless of how things appear, rest within what is singularly uncontrived. The unique simultaneity of emptiness and lucidity arises in the immediacy of whatever manifests. All thought patterns involving ordinary mind and apparent phenomena fade away naturally, the realm of emptiness. However the mind stirs, rest gently in utter relaxation. The nature of phenomena is evident as enlightened intent in the immediacy of the mind stirring and thoughts proliferating. in the natural context of evenness, with no split between objects and mind, rest free of any framework, with naturally pristine perception that leaves no trace.
timeless awareness, profound insight, is evident within the ultimate state of innate lucidity. With the implications of three essential points being discerned within a single heart essence, that of evenness, that is timeless, whether or not there is realization, that of evenness in Dharmakaya, with no duality of objects and mind, and that of evenness within enlightened intent, with neither error nor obscuration. The ultimate and natural place is held without interruption. With nothing discarded or adopted, the definitive heart essence is discovered. With no coming or going, there is abiding in enlightened intent, the nature of phenomena. There is fulfillment on the level that is without transition or change. Spacious, supreme, the enlightened mind of victorious ones, equal to space. No renunciation or attainment, the expanse of a single sphere. freedom in its own place, no question of whether or not there is realization. The point of resolution is reached, expansion into openness that transcends ordinary mind. From the pinnacle of the victory banner that never falls, shine the sun and moon that illuminate the entire universe. All phenomena are embraced within a single self-knowing awareness. Even though they arise as the totality of samsara and nirvana, the phenomena of the world of appearances and possibilities, limitless, boundless, arise 
from basic space. Therefore, they are subsumed within the basic space from which they first arise. Even as myriad things appear, they do not stray from the scope of awareness. So these apparent phenomena are embraced within the expanse of that naturally occurring awareness. Although subsiding in basic space, with no distinction between their arising and being freed, they are nothing other than awakened mind, and so are embraced by the single primordial nature in which phenomena are resolved. Therefore, all phenomena are embraced within a single awareness. The ultimate heart essence, without transition or change, is embraced within the very heart of enlightenment, unwavering awareness. It is fully encompassed as that which is unchanging and non-composite. Within oneness, the decisive experience is that of naturally occurring, timeless awareness itself. Basic space is without beginning or end. Everything is complete therein. All elaborations completely subside. All phenomena abide in the ultimate heart essence. The nature of phenomena. In this way, outer objects and inner mind, the phenomena of samsara and nirvana, are free of fragmenting elaborations that distinguish coarse from subtle. One comes to this decisive experience within basic space. 
timelessly empty like the sky. Even awakened mind, if analyzed, has no substance. It is without origination or duration. Does not come or go. Cannot be characterized and is beyond expression. Since one comes to this decisive experience within the expanse of enlightened intent that surpasses ordinary mind, there is no substance with characteristics that can be defined as some thing. There is nothing to be known through language or expressed in words. Within the vast expanse, unnameable and free of elaboration, one comes to a decisive experience of the phenomena of the world of appearances and possibilities whether of samsara or nirvana. Within the vast expanse, the unborn simultaneity of awareness and emptiness. One comes to a decisive experience concerning the phenomena of one's own self-knowing awareness. within the vast expanse, which has nothing to do with the recognition or non-recognition of awareness. One comes to a decisive experience concerning the phenomena of awakened mind. within the vast expanse, with no transition or change throughout the three times, one comes to a decisive experience concerning timelessly and totally empty phenomena.
from the precious treasury of the way of abiding. This is the fourth topic, reaching the definitive conclusion concerning the oneness of all phenomena within awareness, timeless awareness as their source. Thus, this quintessential nectar of the most profound spiritual approach should be revealed only to individuals who are definitely of the highest intelligence and good fortune, not to those who follow lesser spiritual approaches those biased toward causality, or those whose intelligence and good fortune are limited. Those who revile the guru feel anger toward their spiritual siblings violate the bounds of what is secret and proclaim it publicly, have no faith, are avaricious, are of ignoble character, and fixate on things of this life. Keep what is secret from them. Fortunate people of the very highest calibre are candidates for the great perfection. Teach it to them, for they respect the Guru, have sublime knowledge in abundance, are spacious and forbearing have a great capacity for generosity, have little attraction to dualistic thinking, have given up concerns with this life, strive to attain enlightenment, have faith and diligence and can maintain secrecy. For their part, they please the Guru with gifts and having already committed themselves, make a wholehearted request. Once this has been granted, they will practice appropriately and reach resolution on the level of the way of abiding.
Moreover, the guru, who has heard many teachings and perfected positive qualities, examines all candidates, bestows the key points gradually, while keeping them very secret from those who are not suitable candidates. applies a seal of command and strictly conceals these points with the seal of trust. Teachings on the heart essence of definitive meaning are entrusted to fortunate heart children of the very highest caliber. They in turn do not disseminate this infallible ultimate heart essence to everyone, but hold it to be their own infallible heart essence. If the bounds of secrecy are violated, the injunction is broken and owing to misinterpretation, the teachings on the heart essence will disappear. Therefore, maintain their secrecy and assimilate them in a peaceful, and happy frame of mind. Dharmakaya, a majestic state of authentic being, will be gained in this lifetime. from the precious treasury of the way of abiding. This is the fifth topic, reaching the definitive conclusion concerning the types of individuals to whom these teachings may be imparted. These teachings thus make fully evident the ultimate meaning of the sublimely secret great perfection, so that it is no longer elusive. May they free all beings without exception, effortlessly and naturally within primordial basic space as the ground of being. These teachings, which thoroughly shatter 
the furthest reaches of one's view are the very pinnacle of spiritual approaches. The basic space of the great and majestic Garuda. The transmission of Atti Yoga, exalted above all. May this victory banner never fall, but unfold throughout the ten directions. Completely embraced within three categories, nine expanses and four themes. The definitive meaning is found in 16 topics of teachings. This detailed explanation, the precious treasury of the way of abiding, was composed in an excellent manner by the good Longchen Rabjang. The definitive meaning, the five chapters of this treasure house of the way of abiding is well adorned with a wealth both vast and profound. May this teaching, made lovely by a vivid array of words and meanings, bring joy to hosts of fortunate people. This concludes the precious treasury of the way of abiding, composed by Longchen Rabja. One immersed in genuine being through the most majestic of spiritual approaches. Good fortune, good fortune. Good fortune.